dividing decimals. All right, find the quotient of 7 and 6 tenths divided by 4. So we just do this like normal long division. Let's start out. We have 4, and we want to know how many times does that go into 7 and 6 tenths. Well, 4 goes into 7 one whole time. That one 4 leaves... 3 left. Bring down the 6, and 4 goes into 36 9 times with no remainder. The decimal comes straight up. So the quotient of 7 and 6 tenths divided by 4 is 1 and 9 tenths. And remember, you can always check your division with multiplication. So I multiply the answer times the 4, and we see I get 7 and 6 tenths back. It means my answer is correct. Find the quotient of 4 and 38 hundredths divided by 12. So I'm going to use long division again. Twelve doesn't go into 4, so I put 0 times. 12 goes into 43. If I skip count, 12, 24, 36, 48. 48 is too many times, so it's 3 times. 3 times 12 is 36. Let's see what's left. Looks like 7. Bring down the 8. And now I need to skip count and figure out how many 12s go into 78. So, we've got 12, 36, 48, 60, 72, which is 6 times. 12 times 6 is 72. See what's left over? That's a 6. Because we're doing decimals, we don't do remainders anymore. We keep going and going until we decide that we can stop. So I have a 6 down here. That means I can put a 0 on the end of this. It doesn't change its value, but it'll let me keep going. So bring down the 0. 12 goes into 60 five times. The decimal comes straight up into the answer. So the answer for this one is 365 thousandths. All right, this one's a little bit harder. We're going to divide 18 and 2 tenths divided by 1 and 4 tenths. Now the last two problems were easier because the divisor had no decimal. Well, I don't know how many times 1 and 4 tenths goes into 18. It'd be a lot easier to get rid of this decimal, and we can get rid of it by moving it over one time so that this turns into a 14. And to be fair, if I move this one over one time to the right, then I need to move this one over to the right one time. Now it's a little bit easier. How many times does 14 go into 1? Zero times. How many times does 14 go into 18, it goes one time. Subtract to see what's left. This is 40. Bring down the 2. 42. How many times does 14 go into 42? We skip count. 14, 28, 42. Three times. And the decimal will come straight up into the answer. So 18 and 2 tenths divided by 1 and 4 tenths is equal to 13. This one looks scary, but we can do it the same way. So 
So we want to find how many times does 39 hundredths go into 273 thousandths. Well, again, this makes it more difficult because there's a decimal there. So let's move it over one, two times to the right so it's not there anymore. And move this one over two times to the right so that we're fair. Now we say, how many times does 39 go into 0? Zero? 0. How many times does 39 go into 2? 0. How many times does 39 go into 27? 0 times. And then we got to figure out how many times does 39 go into 273? Well, 39 is close to 40. And 273 is close to 280. And I would say, how many times does 4 go into 28? I would say about 7. So let's try 7 times. 39 times 7 is 3, and then a 6. 3 times 7 is 21, plus 6 is 20. Seven. So it looks like it goes 7 times. 7 times 39 is 273. There's nothing left over, and the decimal comes straight up. So the quotient is 7 tenths. Here's our last one. Divide 245 hundredths by seven thousandths. All right, same problem as before. Our divisor has a decimal in it. We want to get rid of it. One, two, three. Move it th three times to the right and move this one. One, two, three times to the right. And in this empty spot, put a zero. So we don't have to deal with these decimals anymore. Now we're just doing 7 goes into 2,450. 7 doesn't go into 0, but it does go into 24 three times. Bring down the 5. 7 goes into 35 five times exactly. Bring down the zero, bring down the last zero. Seven goes into zero, zero times. So the answer is 350.